Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek and definitely glad you're here. I have been looking forward to making this video for a while now. And I know I'm kind of late to the game, but I kind of wanted to get this out. So this isn't one of my political or serious rants or anything. This is actually something, you know, something I used to love doing. And that's game reviews. You know, I've never been that great at, you know, making reviews usually you know i don't put numbers on things and i just kind of tell you what i like about it and what i don't like about it and kind of give you an idea what to expect inside of the game well you guys know that i'm really big into pokemon you know we had that stint where we posted all kinds of pokemon trading card game videos we streamed some of the pokemon games and you know i try to veer away from it a little bit and you know, come back to it every once in a while. Now, there was three Pokemon games, actually four, I believe, that came out uh, recently. We had New Pokemon Snap. We had Diamond and Pearl remakes. That was two of those. And just recently, back in January, we got Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is a shakeup for the actual game series as a whole. It's a little different. Something we haven't really seen before in the pokemon games uh it's actually a breath of fresh air honestly something i have always kind of wanted to see the pokemon formula go to something like this um it's really good let me go ahead and tell you the first few things before we get to the bad things the game's really good it's really surprisingly good um the controls are good the mechanics are good um the story's okay uh, it's a Pokemon story. Um, the graphics are terrible, I'll tell you that. Um, it's exciting, though, to play this game. You know, you're walking around in these semi-open world areas. There's a bunch of different areas on this big island. Um, and they kind of open up as the story goes. Um, and with that, it brings in new Pokemon and new ways of catching them. Um, it's really neat because one of the things this game does different compared to the other Pokemon games is it kind of sets up the Pokédex for the very first time. So this takes place in the past. I'm not going to spoil the game because, it, you know, it, I'm sure you guys want to know what's going on. Uh, but for some odd reason, it takes place in the past. And you have a phone in the past. This takes place before the Pokédex, and people were afraid of Pokémon at the time. So this is, this kind of gives you an idea of how far back it goes. Now, like I said, you have your story, and one of the things you do, through progression, there's a star system. And basically, it's like a class system. Uh, you um, As soon as you open up a new star, more things come open. Rather, it'd be a new area, new Pokéballs, new skills and stuff like that um it's pretty neat it's pretty neat it, it's kind of different compared to the gym battles you kind of have in the other pokemon games there used to be this thing where you just go you go to each gym you get your badge your pokemon can be a higher level and that's it uh, i think they shook it up a little bit in uh sun and moon and a little bit in uh sword and shield Still the same formula that's been used for years, 25 years or more. Um, which I, I can't complain because I still love that formula. But if you're a new player, this is actually a really cool game to get into. Uh, maybe this could be a starting point um, to kind of give you an idea of what Pokemon is really about. Um, it kind of takes cues from games like Pokemon Go. And I know it kind of sounds weird because... Uh, you, whenever you think Pokemon Go, you also think, let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. It's definitely not like that. But you just don't catch a Pokemon one time. Now, in Pokemon Go, you catch the Pokemon so, a ton of times to get more candies, uh, more experience. This kind of happens in this game, sort of. Um, you, you'll go through the game, you'll catch Pokemon, and you have to f do these special tasks to get that Pokemon put into the Pokedex entry. Um, and, you know, it's usually something like catch with this ball, catch it doing something, catch this many. Uh, and usually there's a list on the Pokedex that tells you what you need to do in order to catch this Pokemon. 
and make him a part of him or her in the part of the actual Pokédex. Really neat, really neat, really cool. Um, the cool things too is, like I said, it is an open world, semi-open world, where you have a hub area kind of similar to something you would see in Monster Hunter or, it, dare I say, like Destiny or something. You have a hub world and then you can venture off and do other areas. Now, I don't think there's really, there's not really multiplayer in this game. Aside, I think you can actually go in and do trades, and I think you can have online battles. I didn't touch that portion of the game. Uh, it took me about 35 hours to complete the main story. Uh, I didn't collect all the Pokemon, uh, and there's a lot of content after the fact, which I need to go through and you know put more in time into it, but I need to get back and beat the Diamond and Pearl remix because I kind of stopped playing that, and because there's like so many games out, and I've just been going back and forth but yeah it's definitely good it's a breath of fresh air for the series i kind of feel like um you know the the series has gone stale for a while and this is actually it kind of livens it up a little bit it kind of gives you like you kind of feel like when you're playing it you know you set it down for a minute you just want to go back and play more um on a technical level it's not that great uh in terms of graphics As a matter of fact it's kind of ugly, um, kind of embarrassing a little bit. Uh, you would figure, you know, this is one of the biggest gaming franchises in the world. And you would figure they would have more um, uh, finesse to the graphics, which maybe the next game, maybe they'll do that. I know the Switch has, its hardware is kind of, it's not that great. But we have Breath of the Wild, we have Monster Hunter. We have Xenoblade Chronicles and all these other open world games that look way better, like way better than that. And, you know, it kind of looks like a game that you would have been played last generation. But it's not about the graphics, it's about the gameplay. And if you're wanting a pure Pokemon experience, this is the game to go to. It's fun, it's addictive, the story is kind of neat. Um, the way you can traverse through the actual game, like through the open world, you actually get mounted Pokemon, like you, and you can do things like swimming and uh, go up mountains, and they all have their own abilities that you can do. And you know, one of the things that's really cool, they replace the actual gym battles with something called Noble Pokemon. Now, I won't spoil it, but every region has a noble Pokemon. And in order to go to the next region, you have to f beat this noble Pokemon. And I, I don't want to spoil it, but it's kind of cool how you do it. And I'm not going to tell you the noble Pokemon that's in it. I kind of want you to see that for yourself. Um, one thing I was really excited about and happy about is the starting Pokemon. So... One of my favorite Pokemon is Cyndaquil. Always love Cyndaquil. I love these evolutions. And, you know, we get a new form of the final evolution. And it's a Hisui Typhlosion. And it's really cool. Really cool. I, I like the Hisui forms of... I don't know if I pronounced that right. I do like the forms of these Pokemon that's in the game. They're pretty neat. I, I didn't expect that. But, yeah, I really I really think it's cool. And you'll find other Pokemon in the game. There are some new Pokemon, but there are also mainly just Hisuian forms of these Pokemon that you already know of. Uh, you may have seen some in the trailer, like Growlithe. He looks a little bit different. But it's kind of like that. It's kind of how we had the Oloan forms and stuff like that. Um, I forgot the name of Sword and Shield's. Pokemon. <laughs> I forgot the name of that area, man. Uh, Galarian. Is it Galarian? Is it Galaria? I don't know. I don't know. I forget. But anyways, yeah, it's pretty cool to see these old Pokemon have new um, <laughs> new looks for the most part. I, I love this game. I absolutely love it. Um, and, you know, this may be a biased opinion, because you guys know I really love Pokemon, but it's a good fucking game, like, for real. Like, it's really good. Um, and, you know, I, I didn't want to put it down. I, I, for, you know, a weekend, 
or two, like since the game came out, I was playing it every day. Um, and I still, you know, the only reason why I haven't continued playing it is because I want to play through the other games that, you know, I need to go through. And I can always go back because there's plenty of content in this game. It's, if, you're, if you're wanting content in a game, if you want a good value proposition, this game's got, got you covered there. Uh, if you're looking at things at a technical level in terms of graphics, maybe you should play Monster Hunter. But I would play this game before I play Monster Hunter. I've never really sat down, honestly, to play Monster Hunter. Maybe that's something I should do. I, I bought Monster Hunter World a long time ago, but I never played it. But this game's really good. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's 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 probably going to be a contender for the game of the year. In my opinion, it's going to be one of the Switch's game of the year. Uh, of course, we have Zelda games coming out that we think. I don't know if it's coming out. And we got the Metroid games. There's a bunch of games coming out that we don't know of. Um, but as far as Pokemon goes, this is a good game, man. I mean, it's it's exactly what I wanted. Um, and, you know, I, I kind of hope that the next game they do like this kind of hope that you know they refine things like the graphics make it look a little bit better maybe refine some more of the more annoying aspects which that reminds me too not only is there noble pokemon in the game there's these pokemon that can straight up attack you like straight up attack you i mean they don't kill you uh but they they, they hurt you pretty bad and they they can make you not they can knock you out and they're these, uh, I forget what they're called, but you'll see them. They're bigger than all the other Pokemon, and they got red eyes, and they're bastards. And, like, you know, I, I've seen, I've got times where I've got my ass kicked several times playing this game just by some of these red-eyed bastards. And that's, you can catch these guys, too, which is cool. You can catch them. Uh, you can battle them. Uh, the, the way battles work is kind of similar to how old Pokemon games battles work, but you actually get a little bit better, uh, idea how the game works. Like you can actually move around the arena when you're actually battling with the other Pokemon and you do have trainer battles as well. That's still a thing. Uh, not frequent. It's not like on other Pokemon games where it's the main focus. The main focus of the game is ultimately catch all the Pokemon. That's it. That's really it. That's Pokemon at its purest form. But I'd like to know what you guys think about this game. I definitely like it. I If you haven't bought it already and you're kind of on the fence, I would absolutely recommend this game. Uh, and like I said, I may be biased because I love Pokemon, but this game was pretty damn cool, I have to admit. But guys, thank you so much for watching. definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.